there are so many of you here watching this now. But before we continue with our program, we have a very, very special guest, dear friend, who has come to be with us and who would like to share a few words, the world renowned system scientist, Professor Irvin Laszlo. Dear, dear Irvin, please share with us now. Jean and Analos, I have great difficulty in adding something because there is nothing to be added to what you have accomplished and what you want to do. What you have just said, Jean, and I'm sure what you're writing in this trilogy is everything that I would like to say and I would like to communicate. I think the future human must be born now. And it is being born. It's a trial by fire that I said we're going. It's a challenge that shows us that there's no way back, but that there is a way forward. And that is better than the, that is better than the alternative, which is the worst alternative, is complacency, is inaction. We can no longer rest the way we were because it's unsustainable. It's in crisis. So we must move. And how we move, we very much depend on our insight, on our wisdom. And that means not only our rational mind, not only our, our, our theories, no matter how important in science, they also depend on our deeper self, on our spirituality. You two of you represent quantum physics and the deeper spirituality that there is on Earth. And this combination is, is really what we need. Science and spirituality together. They show us the way, because the way is very different it's a very different world from what we saw this world was. So it's time. It's time to listen to our own heart, to our own deepest intuition. It's time to listen to those of us, to those among us who have explored the corridors of science and the deepest levels of the human psyche. This is the time to listen to go back on our, into ourselves and then to change, and then to be the change, as Gandhi said, that we want to mm -hmm. see. I look forward to the return of the avatars. We need avatars already today. You are already avatars. I look forward to this book and to discussing with you and the people who have helped you how we can make these insights into the practical wisdom we need to make the next shift, not a side shift, not a down shift, but what I call an up shift. I think we are on the, on, the, on the threshold of it. Let's move forward and thank you with all my heart for the great work you are doing because you are an architect of the up shift that's coming together with me and with all our friends. All my best to your book and the presentation of these ideas, a tremendous book, a tremendous project, Three books, a trilogy. Wonderful. We need it. Let's get going with it. Thank you again, and the best of luck with this tremendous enterprise. Thank you so much, dear Irvin, and for your your incredible work in this world and all your wisdom and all you've given all your life to make sure that the new paradigm becomes a reality for billions on earth.